there's gonna be some times in life when you realize that when you got everything right mentally, that you, you can't get what you previously had. When you previously wasn't mentally right with certain things, you didn't know what you know now, then you could, all the opportunities, certain opportunities came your way. But now that you mentally right and can see clear, you see none of them, you know. So it's like, they say God loves fools or, and babies. So I don't know if that's a, if that part, the fool part come from God or, you know what I'm saying? But it's not in the Bible. So I don't know if it's in the Bible or not. But I do know that when I didn't know certain things, I had certain more opportunity. Certain opportunities came my way when I wasn't in the right, when I was in the mindset where I was gonna mess it up. Whether I could sense something or not, those opportunities came more often when I was in a unappreciative mindset, an unclear mindset, a more superficial mindset. Certain opportunities come, like for instance, some guys, when their mind is not right, when it come to she creatures, they get all these good girls coming their way. All you know, so all the, all the women want to be in a relationship with him, but his mind is like, I oh. don't. He see fault in all of them, but he getting so many good girls that's coming his way. When he finally really realized, man, look, I know what a good girl is. This and it, I'm appreciate it. I ain't gonna, I'm not gonna keep skipping, thinking something better and better and better. You know what I'm saying? Then no, no more come his way. So I don't know if that's like that with Jezebel's, she creatures, females. But I do know it's like that, it can be like that with God. So I don't know if, you know, if, if Jezebel's be like, you know what? I've been with 90, 90 guys and got five babies by three different guys. My body don't look the same no more. Stuff don't feel the same no more. But I'm ready for a good man now. I know what a good man is. I'm ready for a good man. I can appreciate a good man. But the good man gonna get leftovers. Complete leftovers at her, at her worst state in her life physically. You know, unless he just, uh, unless he just you know, marrying an older guy that got kids already that ain't tripping off looks or nothing. Hey, it is what it is. But if you, a guy who just kind of like, ain't really got no kids yet, been working real hard, he ain't got no kids, and um, he ain't got no kids, and he been working real hard, and he want to have some babies, that's a lot to, to fathom. Let's say if it was a guy that was saving himself, wasn't, you know, for marriage, you know, saving his, you know, wasn't having sex or marriage. And they come across somebody with, um, you know, with, you know, come, coming across with somebody with all those bodies, you know, all those scars and Telegani, the DNA from all those different guys. Telegani is collecting DNA from these different guys. Um, and then he, uh, and then, She's coming to him like, hey, take me, let's grow together. Grow, what are we gonna grow? You've done done a lot with no problem, you know. And not to, you know, put nobody down or nothing, but we gotta be careful and we gotta teach kids to be careful what they do at a young age because stuff carry with them as they get older. DNA, scars, Babies, stuff like that, tag along. You deal with the wrong people, certain stuff gonna pop up. You know, you deal with the wrong people, certain stuff gonna pop up. Um, that's the only thing I could think of. But sometimes, it's like ignorant, you know, Jezebel's are they are attracted to ignorance. 
And if a, if a man head is clear, I don't want to deal with him. He's going to be too controlling. He might be too boring. He's going to see everything I do. It's not going to be no fun because it's going to, it's going to work. Fun relationships are dead in relationships. Those fun relationships, they always end. The so-called drama relationships end because they did in situations. So, oh, that, oh, he gonna be boring, he too serious. He's taking you serious, like gonna be with you. But that's too boring for you. You wanna get with something that's more slippery, something that's more uncertain, something that's gonna leave you scarred and say, I ran through this to play victim. I ran through bad guys, I had bad guys. That, I learned my lesson. I bet you did now. Now that you ain't got no more of them things on your chest. No more nips. No more walls. No more emotions. No more para bonding. I'm Alan Reagan. They follow me on Instagram. All my pages. Hit subscribe right now. Holler at me in the comment section. Let me know what you think.